Let's talk about transmissions. This is a five-speed manual transmission that came out of the Geo Metro. Now you may have heard the myth that electric vehicles don't need a transmission. Well, that can be true, but only if you have a big enough battery pack and just the right electric motor, and even then you still need some way to attach the motor to the drive wheels. Now this is a front wheel car, so this is not actually even a transmission. Technically it's a transaxle. Kind of all this stuff here is the transmission, and over here you can see this is the part that actually connects the power to the wheels. In this front wheel drive car, the drive axle connects right here, and we're, this is the back side of the transmission. So this right here would go out to the passenger side wheel, and the same spot on the back would go to the driver's side wheel. So no matter what, we still need at least this part right back here to connect the motor to the wheels just to make the whole thing go. And since we're gonna already have the transmission in there, we may as well use those gears to our advantage. By being able to pick from one of several different gearers, we can, uh, we can minimize our amperage use, so we can extend our range. Um, we can also control a little bit better how fast the motor's spinning, which is uh, better for wear and tear on the motor in the long run. Now, what we don't need, though, is a clutch. This vehicle is completely clutchless. Uh, you can make an electric vehicle with a clutch in it, and uh, that does make it easier to shift. There are some other advantages to it. You do have to do a little bit more careful measuring, and you'll have to figure out how to attach uh, the existing flywheel onto your electric motor. Uh, this is my first electric vehicle conversion, so I didn't do any of that. I just went with something real simple. And to start with, if you look inside, you can see uh, some things that I did a little differently here. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of things missing, and there's also a big hole here, and I'll show you why. Originally, the transmission would have had the clutch plate inside here. It goes on the shaft like that, and then this presses against the flywheel, and then that's the connection between the engine and the transmission. Now, what we did instead is we took off the clutch plate, we cut off the end of this driven shaft, and we also removed the flyout bear, um, the throwout bearing, and the little lever, all that other stuff. We didn't need any of that in there. So I just cut all that off with a, a, a Dremel and a high speed cutting tool. Now, this down here was an access port that I cut in, and what this allows for is visually checking to be able to look inside here when we're all done. The other thing it does is it's designed to be big enough to get my hand in there. And this was kind of important for when putting all this together, making sure that our coupler is all lined up. And that coupler actually used a piece of the original clutch disc here. What I did was I drilled out these four rivets and then I'm able to take most of this stuff off. And I got down to just this little splined bit in the middle. And that's already designed to go right onto that splined shaft. So that became the base of the coupler and it guarantees a good, nice, solid fit on there. Now in the, the engine version of the vehicle, this shaft would have come out further and it would have been supported by the flywheel. So one thing we do need to make sure is uh, with the coupler that the other end connects solidly onto the electric motor so that this shaft is supported by that. Now let's take a look at a couple other things on this transmission. On the back here, this is one of three mounts that connects the engine and the transmission onto the car. This one's right on the back. Right here, we have where the speedometer cable goes in. On this car, pretty much everything's mechanical, so it's just a, uh, just a, a shaft that sticks down in there, a little cable that spins around. Back here, this little cable uh, goes to the wire harness, and this is for the reverse light. So when you uh, shift into reverse, that connects, this is basically just a switch, it connects a circuit, and it puts your backup lights on. Uh, we want to make sure to keep that. Now, on the front side here, these three holes are for a mounting bracket that go to the side mount on the transmission. 
So now that we have the engine and transmission out of the car, we've done some modifications to the transmission, what we next have to do is design the adapter plate and the coupler. These are the two custom parts that may be the most complicated section of the entire electric car conversion. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time on this one.